Hey guys, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica, and today I want to show you the new way I plan to journal. This journal I'm going to start to use by so it has a lot of pockets because I am going to send myself these letters. I can be anywhere. I write down whatever I'm feeling, if I'm feeling really, really down or really contemplative or something, I write it down, put it in an envelope and put two stamps on it and just drop it in a mailbox. That gives me some distance from it. When it comes back, I'm just going to put them in these pockets. I'm writing myself these notes and I may open them in the future, maybe a year from now, maybe when I need to. I wanted a safe place to keep them. I found this packet of 12 um, folders. So I just folded it in two, made it um, the beginning of a few of the signatures. Well, for this one, it's the beginning of all three signatures. And so I glued this side so that it would be better to just slip in the envelope. I also wanted somewhere to write because maybe there are some things that are happy and I don't mind writing. I made some pockets by folding over the page as I've told you I've done in the past. So there are places to write as well. And this was a paper pack I got at Joann's, which was next door to Tuesday morning. I never ever usually go to these stores. I always just hit up Hobby Lobby or Michael's. But I was glad, you know, to go somewhere else. And this is the end, and I'll put in another envelope there. And I mean, it's out of sight. I want to, you know, reread it and be like, okay, I'm going to destroy it. It would be tucked away. And I really like this paper pack. I think it's called Heirloom. I don't remember the name. When I find it, I may put it on the screen. So that's basically what I'm going to do. You know, and sometimes it's good too because maybe if I want to do a journal in use video to show you how I've used it, what I've put in, it won't be like the ultra personal stuff those will be in safely in my <laughs> pockets and this was made as usual with a, um, a box um, and I just I didn't put really hard board for this one so it's still pretty flexible I just use regular really thin backing board for this so it's sturdy but not like hard hard cover and I like this about it it makes me feel more inclined to use it because if it's all really fancy sometimes I intimidate my own self about using the journals I make for myself and not just for the store here's another version I may put this one on the website I may keep it in case I, you know the second half of the year I actually do a lot of journaling which I don't know if I will but the same concept is in this book pockets and I have my scrap box where I'm gonna tuck things in here but if it's for me I'll keep it black yeah so right next to my workstation I have a bunch of cards and stuff that I I put scraps, I put cards, I put stickers, so it's within reach. So if I'm going to make it available for myself, then I will leave it blank until when I start to actually use it. I don't think we have to go through every single page because there isn't anything much but just to remind you, here's the pocket, then we go to the writing sections so right 
so this one is hard hard cover that I also made from scratch and then here is a small one I made this one doesn't have any of the um, folders but it has a few of the leaves in it it's pretty much the standard kind of journal that I make now you know this one is definitely going on my website and I will be adding ephemera to it as well but we have this Tim Holtz paper one of the paper packs these are avocado skin dyed and I've told you about that before but um, as is my custom I'll do a few stamps and um, other ephemera but as you know I'm really big on just creating writing journals where people can have space to populate it in any way they want whether if it's gonna be adding pictures or notes you know thoughts but I will add a lot more of the um, cards that I have over there but I just wanted to really show you my new way of journaling because I don't know if any other journal maker out there struggles to actually start using them I mean before I made a lot of journals like I have this year I used to be an avid journaler I would write my thoughts and and I mean, the thing that I do use is my story writing book because I'm working on that for a number of reasons. My dissertation, because I write fiction generally. So those are the ones that I use more than anything. Not as much as I should, <laughs> but those are the ones that I use a lot. Um, and also my to-do list book, those I use as well. I've shown you that I've changed it for the third time so I made a third one because I just didn't like how that one was so I made this one to document June July and so on so I got these also Tuesday morning like for a dollar um, just so you can have a pocket in the front right so that came from this book I saw it and it by the artist Steve McDonald where you had these really really intricate pictures of cities uh, normally I would make my own drawings but when I saw this I was like really impressed by the detail and you know all of the little sections where somebody could color in and I have taken it apart because I have used it in other journals that I have made available for sale on my website because I do I'm a big big advocate for adult coloring I know it's a big craze I, I got this but I liked it, it also kind of coincides with this illustrated section in a pocket there writing paper stuff there some things I don't you know pin down because I don't know how I would how I plan to use it you know I always like to have old books old book leaves in there for some reason and the book that I took this from had this you know extended page there are a number of them like that in here that I really like are kind of muted in here so not any bright reds or um, oranges or yellows just a lot of blues a lot of cool colors I have that pocket there and a pocket here and, like this. and I tried to make sure that I cut the page where you could see the um, caption 
I mean, I wasn't, I didn't really want to cut them because the whole thing is just so beautiful, intricate, you know. And when you cut it, you lose a lot of this the overall picture. But I keep them anyway because I do keep the other section and those also appear in other journals. It's only about butterflies. It's a writing journal, but it's themed butterfly. You know, and you may have seen this design before, but I actually found a book about butterflies. And so this is the shell of the book that I converted. And uh, here is the cover. It was like on the, the dust jacket of the book. Some Tim Holtz paper that has butterflies in it illustrations that um, I saw I told you before this is like the title page writing paper these are some of the illustrations that were in the original book I'm gonna do a bit of stamping as well but just to show you you know this these are the things I've been working on So I'll be going through my paper stash, seeing all the butterfly related stuff and I'm going to cut off the ribbons and make them pockets too. So and you may have seen me do that in other journals, I think I showed you that in another yeah, so journal. So that's what I'll be doing here, so you know as I said I just have been doing a lot of sewing. that I have been making so many journals and making them available for sale is that I'm trying to generate some funds for a special trip because I got accepted to a writer's retreat in a few weeks in this month and I'm trying to generate some funds for that it's been so good for me it's good therapy whenever I feel down and I just put my hands to use in this way in the next video I'll show you some of the mini journals that I have been working on but I hope you guys you know if you are like me and this year has been up and down for you and you can't seem to get out your thoughts write yourself a letter mail it forget about it I use the slowest method possible so that it won't come back to me for a while and when it does come back to me it will be like my getting a note from my old self to my current self telling me you know you will get through it you will get over those negative feelings and you'll be okay so thank you guys so much for watching i hope it wasn't too rambly and crazy but it means so much to me i'm so happy that in the past month or so I have gained an additional like almost 200 subscribers but I'm just glad if you come and watch my videos you comment you like you share you spread the message that is enough for me but if you also want to support that's now available all right so thank you guys for watching take care and walk good